Breakfast with Dave Mills. It's a case of the, uh, the young gun taking on the old targa. Talking about an entrepreneur who's been included in the BRW Young Rich List with an estimated worth of $29 million, taking on a bloke who certainly doesn't lack experience when it comes to making a dollar. That is, of course, Jerry Harvey from Harvey Norman. The bloke we're talking to is Russell and Kogan. He heads up Kogan Technology and he joins us. Good morning to you. How are you going? Good morning, Steve. How are you? Good. Nice to talk again. Now, you have created a little bit of wealth for yourself by doing what? Uh, selling technology online through kogan.com.au. So it's a direct online business model where we manufacture all our products overseas, import container loads to Australia, and then sell them direct online to people. And it's things like LCD TVs, LED TVs, GPSs, video cameras, all that sort of stuff. All right. Now, you've got 10% of the market. You estimate that to be the case, but you... But you're able to do it cheaply because you get rid of the GST. Explain how that works. Yeah, well, uh, that's not that's not actually how we ab- how we're able to do it cheaply. We do it cheaply by cutting out all the middlemen, getting uh, rid of the GST. Is what Jerry Harvey plans to do by sending his goods directly from China, and that's what he claims is is harming his business at the moment. For us, every single one of our products includes GST, and every single one of our transactions includes GST, and we're still smashing them on price. So the, our value add and our savings is through our new age business model by doing it online, by doing it direct, by doing business how it should be done in 2010 rather than trying to claim that a business model that was invented 40 years ago is a business model for today. But retailers at the moment are kind of bleeding to some degree because they're really struggling to get some grip or some traction within the economy. Are online traders like yourself going okay? Yeah, definitely. We're, we're growing exponentially month on month. So uh, what they're complaining about is, you know, we live in an, in an age today where people can very easily find the best deals. They can look around. They can look around the world. All it takes is a Google search for your product. And consumers are getting smarter and smarter. And they're whinging about the fact that, you know, for some products there aren't, um, you know, their, their customers are, the, are doing a Google search and finding better deals overseas and buying from there and um, they're having a whinge about that and trying to get the government to increase taxes and add regulation and things like that and it's always a sad day when you see a businessman calling for more regulation and more taxes in order to help him be competitive. You know, Business is all about innovation. It should be coming up with newer and better ideas and changing your business with the times. So, right. Now you think he's bluffing. He says I'm not bluffing. I'm prepared to put my money where my mouth is he's going to set up an online trading business to take you on yeah so what i think essentially is happening is um you're seeing so uh, bernie Myers, ceo said the same thing and so is jerry harvey they're saying oh look we're gonna we're gonna set up harvey norman out of china and send goods from there direct and all of this is it's a ploy to create some public unrest what they're trying to do is get people upset and scared going oh no we're going to send jobs overseas maybe these extra taxes and regulations that they're asking for is a good thing but the bottom line and the reality of the situation is is uh, they're full of it you know they're not going to they're not going to do this and i've said i said if, if they're going to do it i'll put a link on the kogan website that goes directly to their site because we know the industry we know the marketplace and it's bottom line is for instance you take a 32 inch lcd tv which we sell for around five hundred dollars at the moment it costs over five hundred dollars to air freight an individual one of these from china yeah but they wouldn't so, air freight it though they'd put it in a container wouldn't they Oh, but it, the whole what they're trying to say is that when you when you get something delivered that's under a thousand dollars, you avoid the GST. The moment you've got two of these in a container, it's not under a thousand dollars anymore. Um, so yeah, what okay. they're proposing is to send these individually out of China. But you know, I'm calling their bluff. It's uh, what what they're saying is not true. They're just trying to okay. you know trying to r- ruffle up yep. the feathers. And so I'm, I'm just yeah. going to make sure I got this right. So you're saying you can do it cheaper, not because you're eliminating the GST. In fact, you've said that you charge your customers the GST. Correct. Because it's too expensive to do it any other way. You're saying if they really did their homework, they couldn't actually do it as cheap as you do it because you get rid of that middle person. What about the argument that they do employ people, that it does create employment and you don't? 
Uh, no, we employ lots and lots of people. There are thousands of people Australia-wide any day working on the Kogan business. We've got lots of people in our office. We've got thousands of people delivering our goods Australia-wide every single day through all the logistics networks and companies. And, you know, all, all our businesses here, from all the accountants we employ to the marketing people to the, um, you know... Sure. But why, why wouldn't Jerry Harvey just model... Why didn't he just do your model and blow you out the water? Uh, you'd have to know our model, you know. It's uh, I'm 28 years old, and I tell a lot of people that if I was any older, there's probably no chance I'd be able to start this business. You have to understand online. You have to understand online communities and your Facebooks and Twitters, and you have to understand how people shop online and why they go online. And we've got some of these old businessmen around that just aren't understanding how business is going to be done today and in a few years and they're trying to stick by this 40 year old business model and you know if you look at any real businessman like take a Steve Jobs for instance he didn't bring out the first iPhone and said this is what we're going to use for the next 40 years um, Bill Gates didn't bring out Windows 3.1 and say this is what we're going to use for the next 40 years any real businessman and entrepreneur they're the ones that look at the current marketplace the current conditions and they innovate and they try and make things better for everyone and make the consumer the winner what Jerry's doing at the moment is he's saying, well, this business model I came up with 40 years ago, which was a great business model 40 years ago when he changed the Australian retail landscape, but he's not changing with the times. He's not realizing that people are getting smarter, consumers are getting smarter, they can find the best deals much easier, and you have to innovate and you have to change. And he's even gone out in the media and said, look, I'll never have an online store, mm. which is, you know, in... In 2010, uh, businessmen shouldn't be saying that sort of stuff. All right, mate. Thank you for explaining it. I appreciate it. And I look forward to the battle that will continue and no doubt bring benefits to the consumer. Oh, well, that's what it's all about, mate. Thanks a lot, Steve. Okay, take care. Russell and Kogan there, Kogan Technologies. You might remember he also made headlines not that long ago when he tried to get a job at McDonald's and he was knocked back because he was overqualified for the job. Well, you know, when you talk about retailers at the present time, a lot of them say we're really struggling. Are, are people going online? Are you buying online more and more? Are you having the confidence to do so? And I, I must admit, if you buy a TV, you buy it in a box and you take it home, you take it out the box. What's the difference if you look at it online? Uh, it'd be intriguing to see whether Jerry Harvey delivers on his promise to go online. We're going to hope.